Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given uh, radical equation by substitution method. And eventually, we're going to check our answers as well. So in this method, wherever you see this uh, square root or radical part of x, let's call this one, let's call u equal to that square root of x. So the next thing is I want you to square both sides. So u square equal to square root of x and then square. So simply u square turns out to be this square and square root undo each other we got u square equal to x. So we got u square equal to x and u equal to square root of x. We are going to plug these things over here in this our original equation. So wherever you see x, x is being replaced by u square minus a time. We know the square root of x is u plus 15 equal to zero. Now you can see that this is a quadratic equation. We can easily factor this one out and solve. So I can put two parentheses equal to zero. Since we are dealing with the u variable, I'm going to put down u right up here and u here. And in the next step, wherever you see this uh, positive 15 on the right hand side, put it down right up here on the top of this x vector. And this middle number, negative 8, is going to show up at the, at the bottom over here. Let's find the factors of 15. Obviously, there was going to be a 3 and 5. And it's going to be a negative 3 and negative 5. These are our two factors, negative 3 and negative 5. Five. If you multiply them, you're going to get positive 15. And if you add them, you're going to get negative 8. So go ahead and put down negative 3, the first vector over here, and negative 5 right up here. So next step is, let's go ahead and split them up. So I'm going to say u minus 3 equal to 0. And this one, u minus 5 equal to 0. So the next thing is, so that's going to give you u equal to 3, and here u equal to 5. But we know that u is simply is square root of x. Let's go ahead and replace that one. So square root of x equal to 3. So let's uh, square on both sides. We want to undo the square root. Let's take the square on both sides. The square and square root is gone. So x turns out to be simply 9, which is one of our solutions. Let's do the same thing on this side. u once again is square root of x. Let's put down square root of x equals to 5. Let's remove this square root part by taking the square on both sides. This is gone, so x turns out to be 25. Thus, our solution turns out to be x equal to 9 and x equal to 25. In the next step, we are going to check our these answers. And in this next step, we are going to check our these two given answer, x equal to 9 and x equal to 25. So let's go ahead and check x equal to 9 if it is going to work for us. So wherever you see x, you replace that one by 9. So that is simply going to give us 9 minus 8 times square root of 9 plus 15. My question is, is it equal to the right hand side, which is 0? Let's simplify the left hand side, 9 minus this a square root of 9 is 3, so a times 3 plus 15, so 9 minus 24 plus 15. So this, if you add and subtract, that's going to give you 0 and the right hand side 0. My question is, is this statement true? Yes, of course, indeed, this is true. So thus, that means this x equal to 9 is our answer that has been checked. It's a good solution. So next we're going to check x equal to 25. So wherever you see x, replace it by 25. So this becomes 25 minus 
a times square root of 25 plus 15 is it equal to the right hand side which is 0 let's simplify we know that the square root of 25 is 5 so I can write 25 minus 8 times 5 plus 15 so this is 25 minus 40 plus 15 that is going to give you 0 on the left hand side and we know 0 is on the right side as well my question is, is this statement true yes indeed this is true so that means our x equals 25 is also a good solution thus our solution set turns out to be a 9 and 25 and finally here is your assignment can you do the very same radical equation by isolation method you can take your time you can pause the video luckily I have already uploaded this video as well Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.